uptick in positive cases in Georgia for a respiratory virus that is spreading and it is more common with children. CBS 46's Crystal Bowie speaks with lo local doctors about what your family needs to know to keep your children healthy and safe. For children that are having difficulty breathing, they're you know, breathing really fast, um, you know, you start to see sort of you know, sucking in sort of in between their ribs. That's how respiratory sensational virus, also known as RSV, can start. And Georgia is among the states seeing more cases. We've been uh, very busy at Children's Health Care of Atlanta um, uh, for really the last few months. For older kids or adults, it's not as serious. But for some infants and toddlers, it can be hard to notice until it becomes severe. And initially, oftentimes in the early course of the illness, the symptoms are very mild and especially very young babies. Sometimes they're just really fussy. Sometimes they're not feeding well. According to the CDC, the latest three week average in Georgia shows it's at more than 2,790 cases. It is treatable, though, and doctors say deaths have been rare. Most babies need, you know, help with their hydration because sometimes they are struggling to breathe so much that they can't eat. So oftentimes they're going to get IV fluids. So how can you tell whether it's the flu, RSV or COVID? Very similar to flu and with COVID. So you can have a fever, but not always. You're going to have a lot of runny nose, congestion. Another suggestion, if there is someone older who may have a cold in the house, make sure to wear a mask or keep distance from babies to prevent it from spreading and causing more severe symptoms. Reporting in Atlanta, Crystal Bowie, CBS 46 News.